Hello and welcome to another Paintsill video tour. Today we are going to discover the Turkish tent. Here to tell you more is Paintsill guide Barry Hilton Davies. The first glimpse that visitors have of the Turkish tent is from the Gothic temple. There it is in the distance above the five arch bridge. But why a Turkish tent? Well, Charles Hamilton, the creator of Paynes Hill, introduced a number of different styles into his landscape. The classical, the gothic, the rustic, the picturesque, chinoiserie. And here is an example of the mysterious, mystical and exotic Orient. So why not have a Turkish tent? The first time that visitors have a relatively close-up view is from the Five Arch Bridge. But in typical Hamiltonian fashion, they are then whisked away so that their next sighting of it is only once they have turned their backs on the Temple of Bacchus on the Elysian Fields. From a distance, its curious shape entices us to draw closer. And once we arrive, we see that our curiosity has not been in vain. Standing in front of the tent, we can admire its finer details. The papier mache cornice, a finial surmounted by a Turkish crescent carved out of lime wood and clad with gold leaf. Copper wire horsetails. One of the decorative tassels. A painted lead embellishment. Considering the basic structure of the folly, we see the laying of the concrete base, construction of the brick shell onto which came a lead roof. Installation of the superstructure on top of the brick shell. Hanging of the drapes. The unusually shaped superstructure meant that it had to be fashioned and assembled at a specialist shipwright near Chichester and from there transported to Paynes Hill. And here we can admire the intricacies of the ceiling from inside the tent. The original tent was built in 1759. By the time that the Paynes Hill Park Trust was established in 1981, all that remained of the original was part of the brick floor. The tent as it exists today was first completed in 1995, when it was unfurled in the presence of Prince Charles, Paynes Hill's patron and the Turkish ambassador. Unfortunately, the weather took its toll on the canvas drapes which were replaced in 2002 by more robust fiberglass. The story of how its reconstruction was paid for is interesting. It was thanks to the generosity of a New York Jewish gentleman, Jeffrey Steiner, in celebration of the 500th anniversary of the year 1492, when Jews were expelled by Spain but given sanctuary in the Ottoman Empire. Two 18th century images of the tent still exist. The one on the left is a drawing by Henry Keane. The one on the right, a sketch by Frederick Magnus Pippa, the Swedish Royal Garden designer who visited Paynes Hill in 1779 and we can see that he included the name of Paynes Hill on the sketch. It is thought that either Henry Keane designed the tent for Hamilton or that Hamilton based his tent on Keane's drawing. But all this time I have been teasing you, dear visitor, because the very best feature of the tent and the reason you came here is the magnificent view you have from it. Taking in the Gothic temple, grotto and five arch bridge with the lake as its central feature. This was and is the highlight 
last stopping point and grand finale of a tour of Paynes Hill following Hamilton's historic route. From here, Hamilton would escort his visitors across pastures to return to his house. Not possible for us today, as the adjacent land does not form part of the Paynes Hill estate. There still exists a view from the Turkish tent as it was in about 1770. In this painting, owned by the Duke of Abercorn and painted by an unknown artist, the angle of view differs slightly from the view from the tent today. This is because the site of the original tent was some 50 yards to the north of the current site. The current site was chosen for its reconstruction for practical reasons. Otherwise, the view could not have taken in the full panorama that we are able to enjoy today. Earlier in this short presentation, we glimpsed the bench inside the tent. Here we can sit and rest our legs in comfort, sheltered from the weather, sheltered from the prevailing wind. Just give yourself time to enjoy the view and relax. You've earned it. Sadly, though, a gin and tonic is not provided. Not here, at least. But why not pause in the shop on your way out and buy a bottle of Payne's Hill's very own gin to take home with you? Thank you for your company. Thank you for joining us. Please visit painshill.co.uk or follow us on social media for more video tours.